now get. Swing around and curtsy, dig it to the dirt sea, twitch it, itch it. We all dance the itch. Swing around and curtsy, dig it to the dirt sea, twitch it, itch it. We all dance the itch. <laughs> That's what was causing everyone to itch. Fancy that, mate! And I thought they were digging our music! What about our fans? Uh, what do you want to do? How <laughs> positively medieval! You're all right, mate. How'd you like to be an honorary rat? <laughs> Last one in is a flea-ridden rat. Whoa, this is great. We should do this every year. Swing around and curtsy, dig into the dirt sea, twitch it, itch it. We all... Sardines are all mine. You're not getting a single one. 
Besides, you need to cut down on the snacks until you work off that spare tire. Ooh, cut that out. I'm just gonna go grab an iced tea. Well, that must be the delivery from the pet store. Remember, no touchy, you hear? Oh boy, I guess he's not eating the hot green. Fresh! <laughs> Tom! Bad cat! I can't even trust you for a minute! Someone else ate them! Who? A penguin? Boy, you've lost your mind because that is the lamest. Again? The delivery guy must have forgotten something. <laughs> Nobody there. Hmm, maybe I imagined it. Tom! Darn cat! Ginger's gonna be so surprised, she's always wanted a tropical aquarium. <sighs> All finished, and a certain cat better not get any ideas about eating these fish. There are seven fish in here, and if even one is missing, I'll know who to blame. You got that? Oh, that's my alarm. Time to go pick Ginger up. Boy, is she gonna love this. There are seven fish in here. get here. It wasn't me, I swear. I didn't eat anything. Look, you had a weak moment. Just don't repeat it. <laughs> Freaky Frankies. Freaky Frankies. Cheese, chicken, burger, fries. Sleepwalking! So that's what's been going on. Pizza pie. I better not try to wake him suddenly. This stuff has got to go, though. Rick, honey, you've been sleepwalking to Freaky Frankies. So that's what's going on. Did I pick up anything good? <laughs> Never mind. Tonight, I'm taking every precaution to keep you honest and healthy. You say so. What? 
Freaky Frankie's Fried Chicken. Freaky Frankie's Fried Chicken. What? Where? Uh, Ginger, hun, snap out of it. You snap out of it. I'm taking a cheat day and no one can stop me. <laughs> you know what, Tom? Two can play at that game. Hey, Cat, maybe he's got the right idea after all. How's about sharing some of that grub? <laughs> You okay, Uncle Jack? Thank you, my dear nephew, but no. It was at the health spa that I learned to eschew the trappings of the baked goods. I choose now to fortify myself with the greens of Mother Earth. Celery, for instance. All of these sweet things can no longer tempt me. Oh dear. Off it goes. Certainly it's more difficult to remove. Perhaps just to clean it off. <laughs> Oh, I really should stop. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> My goodness, what's come over me? Thank goodness you are here to aid me, nephew Jerry. <laughs> oh dear, it seems you've been entrapped by a jelly mold. I must come to your aid as you did me. Unfortunately, that snacking has made me soft in the middle. Well, exercise is the cure for that. Dear nephew? Spike! Here, boy! Come and get it! I always like to keep a souvenir from a great meal. Ginger, is the pie ready? I can't wait. Well, you'll have to wait because it needs to cool. I just set the timer to give it a few minutes. So I says to him, I says, if you think that's fun, next time try a fire hydrant. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I know fresh pie when I smell it. Huh? Wait, don't go in there. You've got to drop that pie. If Ginger finds out you're in here eating, she ain't going to be happy. Don't worry. I wasn't going to eat all of it, just most of it. Well, huh? The pie should just be... <gasps> what? Out, out, out! Thanks for taking the fall for me, little bro. You're all right. That Mike has overstayed his welcome. He's got to go. Listen, we gotta talk. Uh, Mike? Hold it right there. Oh, uh, hiya, fellas. Uh, what are you doing around these parts? We could smell you from a mile away. We come to collect the 50 bones you owe us. Bones? You have until sundown. Come on, boys. Let's go. Mike is in real trouble. We gotta help him. Please, fellas, you gotta help me. I need to find 50 bones or I'm done for. Don't worry, big brother. We got your back. Right, guys? Listen, fellas, he's driving us all nuts. But the sooner we find those bones, the sooner he's out of our hair. What do you say? All right, we'll help you. You will? I knew I could count on you, guys. <laughs> Only four. Only 
45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Did I say 49, boys? Looks like we're gonna have to get rough with you after all. Give me one more day! You had your chance. Boys. Hurry, put this on. Cousin Muscle's left us here. Muscle? That's his name. Don't wear it out. Uh, we ain't got no issues, do we, Muscle? Yeah, this is his turf. Seeing as how we all uh, respect each other, I'm gonna say our business is done here. Fellas? You did it! Whew. I can't thank you guys enough. You're the greatest! I owe you one. Look after the bones for me. I'm gonna go drop in on Mom and Pop. Drop by any time, Mike. The door is always open. Ha ha ha! Thanks, bro. That was a figure of speech. Now get over here and help my brother out! I just mopped it. the whole thing in 8K Ultra HD. Now, I just hit this one button here to upload it to a few dozen of the most popular video sharing websites. And, hey, I got a view already. Oh, there's two, three, wait, five. Oh, now it's 10, 25, 50, 100, 500. Look, 10,000 views already. Did you look? My video is going viral. Ah, oh boy. <laughs> He's got a mop on his head, and they say cats are smarter than dogs. <laughs> ah, don't worry, cat. It's not like the whole neighborhood seen it. After all, it's only at what? 25,000 views? <laughs> Counting down at 10 funniest videos of the week, and at number one, Clumsy Kitchen Cat. <laughs> Joan, get in here. Isn't that Rick and Ginger's cat? <laughs> nice outfit. That's hilarious. <laughs> I ain't kidding, fellas. See for yourselves. <laughs> My aunt's sister from Guatemala knows this kitten in Prague who sent her the link to the video. <laughs> there you are. We was just talking about you. Enjoying your new celebrity pal? Before he eats us.
Since Meathead was shooting marbles at the community center last night, the P.I.s figured this would be a good place to start. Wait, where do you think you're going? This is a members-only establishment. Oh, Spike, I forgot to tell you. Tom's with me. Oh, in that case, welcome. Watch your step. The community center was a hole in the wall where the locals liked to relax with a lively game of marbles. If Meathead's marbles were to be found, this was a good place to start. Sorry about that. It's my job to pick up the strays. Must have missed this one. What a good kid. The community center likes to give the local kids a job. It builds character. But Tom had seen enough characters. Now he was looking for clues. Ooh, a real detective in action. Hey, what's the big idea? We're playing a game here. Get out of here. Move it, brother. Hmm, no gold marbles here. Next up, the community center office, which was run by office secretary, Toodles. You won't find your gold marbles here. I keep all my ducks in a row, honey. Come on, boys. Jerry decided the best place to start was the lost and found. If Meathead's marbles were lost, this was an obvious place to find them. Unfortunately, another dead end. Last stop, the locker room. Meathead remembered cleaning up here after a vigorous night of marbles. Okay, left 28, right 32, left 12. Wait, maybe it was right 10, left 16. At this rate, we could be here a while. Luckily, Jerry was there to straighten Meathead out. Oh, yeah! My locker has my name on it. Tuffy put that up there so I could find it. And I don't have a lock because I can never remember the combination. <laughs> hey, there it is! My marble case! Huh! Empty! They were stolen! The suspects were assembled. Each player had a reason for wanting to see Meathead lose the championship game. And when you got him talking, you couldn't get him to stop. I'd do anything to win tomorrow's game, even steal! Red Herring, professional suspect. But his story sounded just too obvious. Meathead and I used to be marble partners, but then Meathead went solo and started winning all the tournaments. Guess you could say I got a grudge. I'm the club's secretary in charge of membership, but how am I going to find new members when no one thinks they have a chance of winning? I always loved those gold marbles. It's a color I just can't resist. Did I mention I stole them marbles a minute ago? I got a few bucks down on Butch to win the next tournament, so yeah, I'd like to see Meathead lose for once. I used to be Meathead's coach, but he fired me for being too rough. Maybe now that he's lost his lucky marbles, he'll come crawling back. Gold has always been my favorite color, too. So shiny. The P.I.s still weren't falling for this line. They knew a red herring when they saw one. Jerry was stumped. Meathead was a Meathead, and Tom was, well, where exactly was Tom? Out, little man, because I know a shortcut. Take a Mr. Cat. You're very helpful. <laughs> Sounds like another food delivery. Oh. 
Look, the Yogi Bread that got so far. Which way you shout? Thank you very much. Hi, Tom. A sleepover? Sure. I can leave tomorrow. I never see Bill again. I watch TV. Hi. You don't want to eat me, do you? Good. You don't want to make me mad. So warm and toasty. But I'm not sleepy. Want to play a game? could make it, cousin. Come on, I want to introduce you to my girl. Jerry, this is Olive. Ain't she a peach? Don't worry, pal, I didn't forget about you. Just beat them curtains. And now, that dazzling dame from old Kentucky, Miss Betty Bar Mindy Sue. When I was young, I found no glee With baby dolls and tea parties Life is it for me? I want it all from A to Z. I've never been concerned with the things of the world. I'm not into glitz and glamour. When all the other girls are painting their nails, well, I prefer to hit one with a hammer. Paddle ball, pigskin, puddles of mud. Body slams, baseball, my kind of fun. Paint the town red before the rising sun. That's just who I am. Race cards, rock stars, front of the bus. Bright lights, big time Broadway or bust. Better keep up or you'll be left in the dust. Cause that's just who I am, Sam. That's just who I am. You better believe it. Take it or leave it. That's Toots, enjoy yeah. the applause. You're a star. That was one swinging number. Betty Sue, meet your date, Jerry. He's a real character, don't you think? Oh, I'll say. We're old friends already. Aren't we, sweet cheeks? Well, Olive, what do you say we grab some grub? Now you're talking my language, muscles. Don't worry, cousin. This one's on me. I just want a big match and I'm loaded. Ain't that right, baby? <laughs> this dame is amazing. She ought to come with her own splash, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're a regular foghorn. <laughs> hey, come on, Olive. Let's cut a rug. Come on, hot stuff. Let's trip the light fantastic. Come on, Olive. Please welcome back to the stage, Betty Barr, Mindy Sue. Thank you, thank you. I call this performance the Wheel of Death. Now please welcome my assistant, Larry. What do you think, Muscles? You like? Amazing. Your best performance yet. Uh, where'd Olive go? She missed it. Yeah, she wasn't feeling well, so she hopped the cab home. But the night is still young, right? You said it, Muscles. What do you say, George? Ready for a night on the town?
on ya. And it's got a built-in back massager. Let's try it out. Assignment. Racing! Every detective needs to be able to handle a car at top speeds. The winner gets an A, the loser an F. I did a little work on the competition's car. How <laughs> thoughtful! Ready, set, go! <laughs> Every detective needs to be able to find a needle in a haystack for your next assignment. Find a needle in a haystack. You will be time. Ready? I've had it with that whistle. You and me both. Come on. Time is almost up! Hey, where's my... Oh, no, no! My whistle! My grandma gave me my whistle! I don't know what I'm doing! I don't know! I don't know my whistle! I don't know my whistle! <laughs> Look! How about we bury it with some concrete? 
Hey, now you're thinking, genius. Let's give this bad boy the send-off it deserves.
I'm getting sleepy with all these stories, Papa. Yeah, I'm ready to make me to sleep, too. <laughs> One last story. Yeah, what's the name of this story? Oh, I can't tell you that. It would give it away. Once upon a time, there was a happy peasant couple. But they had a rodent problem. The mice would play Oompa Oompa music night and day. and couldn't stop the mice, he was politely asked to leave. Uh, uh, huh? What are you looking at? So I got my beard trapped in a bear trap. That makes it a beard trap! Hey you, I'll make you a deal. If you release me from harm, I'll grant you a charm. If you help me with this, I'll grant you your wish. Look, open the bear trap so I can get out and I'll do some magic fairy stuff and make your dreams come true. Hey, Captain. Where are you? Aha! Uh -huh. So, uh, what's your wish gonna be? Consider it done. You're all set, Cat. Oh, you got rid of those mice. Come, Yinja, let the cats and relax, and we'll go to the market to buy a nice big fish. And on the way, they told everyone what an amazing mouse catching cats and they had. Yeah, must have been a hundred mice. And to think he caught those mice all by himself. All by himself? Stealing all the credit for my work. Now, when the gnome poofed the mice out of Tom's cottage, they poofed into the king's castle. I mean, they had to go somewhere. Okay, royal advisors, I've had quite enough of this Oompa Oompa music. The peasants tell stories of a fearless Katzen whose prowess for catching mice is unmatched. Bring me that Katzen! I understand that you are the best mouser in all the land. If you get rid of the mice, I'll give you my royal crown to wear. I mean, uh, just my day crown, you understand. But if you fail, it's the dungeon for you. Now, go and catch those mices! Mm -hmm. 
Bigfoot will be worth millions. Tom would have all the caviar he could eat. of the inside of my car, Tom. You see this phone? No touchy. No touchy the phony, Tommy. Doing it. I'm flying. I'm really 
Thank you. 